Welcome to the steps for completing progress reports in Navigate's Early Alert System. All teaching faculty will be prompted to complete progress reports for their classes to identify never attended students. When the progress report campaign begins, faculty will receive an email from the Vice President of Academic Affairs, prompting completion of progress reports for courses. You may click on the link provided in the email to begin or log in to navigate through the My Reynolds portal. Once in the Navigate system, you will need to switch from Staff to Professor View, as shown here in the red box. In Professor View, a gold bannered message appears at the top of your screen. This directs you to respond to the request for progress reports. The number of progress reports reflects the total number of your students. Please note the due date of completion for progress reports and click the Fill Out Progress Report button to start the process. The Student Feedback screen will appear with students enrolled in each of your courses. List of students will appear under each course section. You will update each student based on your knowledge of their performance at this time by choosing the Yes radio button in the Feedback column. Choosing Yes will produce a list of options for alert reasons. You must choose at least one option. This example, being never attended for this student, has never attended class. You should go through all of your students and select those who have not attended class. You do not have to select No for students who did attend class. If Yes is selected in error, simply select No to reset. Once you have gone through all of your students, you have two choices. By clicking Submit Only Marked Students, removes at-risk students from your list and retains all unmarked students. You may return to Navigate at a later time to mark additional students. Choosing the first Submit button produces a pop-up informing you that feedback is only being sent to the students you have completed. Click OK. Choosing the second button, Submit Unmarked Students as Not at Risk, will submit all of your students. Students marked Yes will be submitted as At Risk, and the remaining unmarked students will be submitted as Not at Risk, and completes your progress report. Choosing the second option clears all students from your list. Regardless of which Submit button you choose, the progress report is saved and an email is sent to your at-risk students, shown in the example here. However, the progress report is not considered complete until the second option is submitted. This email is generated by the Navigate application, not by Reynolds, and is a non-reply email. You will need to review the cases of your at-risk students. Click on the file folder icon on the left menu in Navigate. You will then choose the Unassigned tab and locate students who have never attended. Click Manage Case for the student you wish to review. A Manage Case window will appear with the student name, course, and the reason the alert was raised. In this case, never attended. Click on the Close Case button. This will lead you to the steps necessary to close the case. You will need to choose an outcome from the drop-down menu. In the majority of cases, faculty will choose Student Contacted. This outcome includes the student and instructor communicating via phone or email, or if the student attends the next class. Do not click Submit at this point. You will need to include a comment to reference the chosen outcome. In this case, the student attended class. The purpose of closing the case and including a comment is to inform other college personnel that there has been contact with the student and there is no need to reach out to the student again. Once you have chosen an outcome and included comments, you can click Submit. Once you click Submit, the case status window will appear with a history of activity. After reviewing this information, you will need to close the case management window with the X in the upper right corner. 
If you chose to submit your early alerts using the first Submit button option, you can return to Navigate via My Reynolds. Choose Professor Home and you should still see the gold banner at the top of your screen. Click Fill Out Progress Report to begin the process over. Please note, you must choose the second Submit button for your progress report to be complete.